You are watching a master at work. With Enigma, this is a fragrance that comes with a crazy, crazy price tag. It's a 50 ml fragrance and it costs $500. Now, I've done the math of this and this equates to about $1 per spray. Yes, I'm not joking. It is that expensive, it sounds ridiculous, but it is true. It's literally liquid gold. Does it smell like liquid gold? Is this fragrance really enigmatic? Is it really worth the price tag? Once you spray this, will the heavens open? Will all the women in the world flock towards you? Will all your dreams be fulfilled? That is the question that we will answer in this review. For the way this fragrance smells, it's essentially tobacco, a sweet booziness about it, spices in the middle like nutmeg, like cardamom, a lot of ginger, which I'm a big fan of. I love ginger, use it a lot in cooking, love the way it smells, I love the way it tastes. So if you put ginger somewhere in the fragrance, I'm sure to pick up on it and I am sure to love it. This has a lot of ginger. And in the base, along with some other woody notes, the star is vanilla. Okay, if you like vanilla, this is a fragrance that you definitely, definitely should sample. And what's nice about this fragrance is that it develops quite a bit. It starts out with all these notes and it smells sort of like a cola, coke, uh, with a lot of sweetness to it. And then it transitions into more of a vanilla rich fragrance. So when you smell the top, it's not exactly what you get, you know, when the fragrance has been on your skin for a long time, but it definitely is similar. It's not going to change to a completely different fragrance, I do assure you. Now, in terms of rating this fragrance, smell and compliment factor, very, very high for smell. Everyone that smells this always says it's nice. You're never really going to hear anything bad about it. Um, my girlfriend was the first one to pick up on the fact that it smells like a cola, um, like a slush, like something like Coke, sweets with like vanilla, that sort of thing, like um, those cola gummies. Um, and she was spot on the money because a lot of other people have said that. In terms of compliment factor, I've never been complimented on this fragrance, but I have been noticed for it. I was talking to a girl whose signature scent is tobacco vanilla, and she picked up on this scent and she said, I always wear tobacco vanilla. Are you trying to steal my signature scent? You're now the one wearing tobacco vanilla. And I was like, no, it's actually Roja Perfumes Enigma. So if you want a comparison for this fragrance, it is tobacco vanilla from Tom Ford, as well as Dolce & Gabbana, the one. This fragrance seems to lie in the middle. While Dolce & Gabbana is the one that's a lot fresher and tobacco vanilla is a lot heavier. This seems to lie in the middle. Not too fresh, but definitely not too heavy. Really tries to do all and gives you the best of both worlds. It's a fragrance that's signature scent worthy. will work in any weather condition, but I contend that though it has tobacco, it has vanilla, it's an oriental fragrance. This is actually better in warm weather as it will project. And the projection and longevity that seems to lack a little bit will be amplified by this weather. So going on to projection and longevity, for the perform strength of this fragrance, they are not the greatest. As I said, I've never really been complimented on it. I've never truly been noticed by a lot of people, only once, as I mentioned before. And um, the heat definitely would help it get noticed a lot more. What I tend to do is I tend to load up a little atomizer and refresh, and that was what I, I did the day that I got noticed. So in terms of how far it projects and how long it lasts, on clothes, lasts forever, 
but on skin about eight hours projection quite mild has to be in your personal space. Roger Parfum's Enigma, very expensive fragrance. Wow, we cannot get away from that fact. 50 mils costs $500. This is no joke, it's an investment. Is it worth it? You will have to answer that question. You will have to smell this fragrance. This is definitely one that I do not recommend that you blind buy. Make sure you test this one out. Make sure you're comfortable with it. Make sure you understand that this is a smell that you personally have to fall in love with because it's not a smell that I can say with authority people around you will fall in love with. Um, and if the answer to those questions for you is, yes, I love this fragrance. Yes, I want it. Then go ahead and pick it up because this is a very good fragrance. It might not be a masterpiece. It might not be the most wildly exorbitant, unique, lady killer fragrance in the entire world. But this is a very good fragrance. After all, I do own it.